This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait. This is the Continuum Cortex? It's the best way to reach Nova Ship before it moves again. You found Corel. Where is she? Nova Ship currently in the Lydra system, orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky Raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Nova Rock. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars, and bedding parlors, and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Cosmo paint to agree with Assassin. You were having a great time when... Stop. Now. We can find Corel and save Contraxia. Maybe we shouldn't make too many guarantees. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. This is what we do. I am with you, Peter Quill. You are? Of course. It was a rousing speech. Bootlicker. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy. So, what is this? Like another elevator? They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Oh, what magnificent witchcraft is this? I know. It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. This time, investigate Nova Ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Those won't do best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. This is... Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities. Even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but uh, do. The view is incredible. Oh. Avengers! Assemble! <laughs> what kind of name is Avengers? Normal. You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and John Jet watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I will find you. No. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know that sound. I am proud. Definitely an alternate reality. Hey, help! It's Spider Man! Wait, is that Earth? Peter! Mom? Come on, you're date for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay, next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. <gasps> Lark and his breath. Okay, here we go. Whoa, no Lark. Direct. You guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scott Lord mode chips use external power conduits to generate pseudo gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. Okay, I've got two conduits here. Someone tell him to turn them on. Nothing's happening. Gamora, tell him to check the power supply. It's empty. Then tell him to find a battery. Did you catch that? Yeah, yeah. Something terrible happened here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the general destruction? Both are undeniable clues. Uh, someone tell him what he's looking for. Peter Quill, you are supposed to be looking for something. A battery! 
so we can get the lousy gravity going. Might be just what we need. Then pick it up already. All right, I'll have you guys on solid ground in a tick. Okay, got us a battery. Took him long enough. Hey, I'm trying, man. And we're still floating around. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Uh, fine. I'll tell them. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. Either one? It's not brain surgery, just pick one. I have begun to enjoy this weightlessness. It feels like when Hovat and I fell in love. We were shoved naked from a cliff in a Katapian mating ritual. Uh, someone tell Quill to hurry up. Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap! Store. You had one job, Will. I did exactly what. <sighs> if I had any units, I'd bet that mutt knew what we were getting into here. Impressive, Peter Will. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Third. If that was the third time, when was the first? The day I was kidnapped. When my mom died. We should continue our investigation for the dog. We'll need to get this wreckage out of the way first. Root's right. Good move if we give it a jolt. Should we call Cosmo? Let him know what we've found so far? What do you mean a code word? Groot won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? Ooh, oh! The code word is Ride the Stars. And we should hold off calling Cosmo until we figure out what's going on. We should also standardize our use of the term dog report item. This is the only way out, but the door's got no juice. Must be on a different circuit. Can't you transfer power to it? I'm not the one with the zappy guns. Dog report item. Something caused Novacore to abandon their ship. Maybe they all just quit. Some people don't give up when things start going wrong. Was that a crack? No, it was a pointed criticism. Can we just focus on what happened here? I agree. The dog's investigation is our priority. And finding out what happened to Corel and Nikki. Wonder how many made it out alive. Not many. Explain your pessimism. That'll do it. Why does that keep happening? There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Good bottleneck for it. Everything that happened seems to be connected to this ship. Maybe your girlfriend went crazy after seeing you. I doubt Peter Quill could inspire this level of mutiny. Okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill... Come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. You do know your girlfriend probably didn't make it. I knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova passkey? 
Nikki gave it to me to keep it away from her mom. You can sell that. It must be worth a couple thousand units. Do you know what Novacore does to people who steal from them? <laughs> Look around. How much you want to bet there aren't enough Nova left to execute us? Let's make this quick. What do you Perhaps want? Lady well, Hellbender sent a worthy beast to devour us. Oh yeah? And how would she know we were here? It is said the Monster Queen has eyes across the galaxy. Why do you tease me with crafting, Quill? What do you hope to find here, Peter Quill? Nikki had all kinds of secret passageways on the ship. Maybe she left a message or something. You are fond of this girl. I, I guess. I mean, she had a lot in common. That reminded me of me, you know? I do not know. It doesn't matter. I just want to make sure her and her mom are okay. That's not good. No way. Tracks his rap sheet. He's got to see this. Oh no. Please don't. Did you know this maintenance worker, Peter Quill? No. You seem relieved. I am. What the flark are you two doing? Let's go already. Turn the power back on. Or some kind of end to what happened. Maybe something is attacking the ship. Nah, that ain't exactly a ballistic reaction. Now we're exploring maintenance tunnels. It can't hurt, can it? Better we check. Still nothing but emergency power. Dog report item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the churchman Grand Unifier Raker, and then his ship exploded. So maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. A gas, maybe? The explosion could have released it. I've used something like that before. Right. Pump it into the vents, and it spreads through the ship. Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Nova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust you. This again? I was only stating that Nova's position of not trusting you was accurate. At the time. Here's the deal. We figure out what is going on here, and then we can figure out how to work better together. So, just ignore the obvious while it's inconvenient? Yes. First thing we do when we get back on the Milano is have a big talk. Pinky swear. That is the weakest of the No wonder we've been stumbling around in the dark. Whoa, ho, ho. look at you, you sexy beast. Ah, uh, flirting rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Eh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Uh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or uh, uh, de-invert... Uh, de-vert? Rocket. Yeah, uh, the console's safety locked because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. There's gotta be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost! Of course! It is time. Here it comes. Peter Quill's mask to guide us with its mysterious power. Ain't nothing mysterious about it. I programmed the Dastin thing. Definitely something up here. Obviously. Hell yeah, it worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. 
Nice try. Let's get the other one free. All right, Gamora, let's get the second one done. Okay. Find a way up there and discover why, for the dog report. Rocket, what's that console telling you? That you should come do the honors. Okay. Surprise! This whole thing's a lift. We can ride it all the way up there. I guess Nova grunts and grease monkeys don't get into cool flying suits. Definitely. Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make whoa. Lock! Walking clamps! They're shutting us down! More freaks approach! Lorcher's de re inverted the core again! We just have to re de re invert it back! Put it back! After we take some heads! Rip of a new one! Up. Steal my rock! any longer, Rodent. Your battle skills are sloppy and erratic. My skills? You've got all the subtlety of a brain-dead battering ram! Say the word, Peter Quill, and I shall single-handedly tear these fiends apart! Whoa, 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 guys! These insults you keep tossing around? Are we a team, or should we just throw each other's lives away? Because the only thing that matters here is that we knock them out together. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quinn! Bring it on! Rats! Help, Rats! Meet your maker!
so we can keep moving. I will tear them from their sockets. Ain't gonna work, Musclehead. But this time, we've got a control room to play with. Looks like I can remove the clamps from here. Good. We will not be stopped by clamps. Ah, sneaky dash bags. They scrambled the power circuit, so I can't release them. I'm tired of these clamps. Gonna have to reroute the circuits one by one to reset the power grid. Here, I'll get the door for you. You should be able to see the grid with your visor. Okay, visor's up. Now what? You should see power grids along the walls around here. Find their powered up nodes. Looking for glowy power nodes. Right. When you find them, you need to electrify the junction switch in the direction you want the power to flow. Shoot them with electricity? Yeah. We're aiming for big, glowing lines routing back towards the plants in the middle. Looks like the wall's weak here. Perhaps the Nova Killer knows how to redirect these machines. She has experience. Groot, I think I have an idea. Use your roots to raise that platform with me on it. Kind of a Groot Root Boost thing. I am Groot. He's eager to try the Groot Root Boost. So, is there any chance of Quill getting back together with Lady Law? <laughs> Did that do anything? Not yet. You'll have to reroute a couple of them. Ah. A Groot in Nova. Yeah, right. It would have been possible. They try to recruit Corman from any world in good standing. Well, too bad. Groot's the last one, and he's too smart to ever sign up with that scuffle. Drax, I need a hole here to reach the grid. Then you will have one. Another power node. I see it now. You've got half of it rerouted. Now work on the other room. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Might be gunning for your job soon. You want to trade? I'm happy to sit in the captain's seat. You frequently sit in the captain's seat. I did not just hear that. Groot, need your help, buddy. Root boost, please. I'm Groot. Here's good. I'm Groot. The small hairy one is insinuating you on back luck. Funny how the small hairy one is always right there guiding me. Peter Quill is insinuating that you, Weasel, could be the cause of our problems. Uh, hurry it up, Quill. Lumpy's bugging everybody with his color commentary. Okay! I bet I can reroute the power to get myself back out of here. Solid plan. Hell yeah! Who's smarter than Nova Corps? Did that open? You know, normally you're not supposed to travel through dimensions without a portal and a deep impression on the other side. Should we be concerned? Just keep an eye out for the warning signs. Mental degradation, paranoia, aggressive behavior. Looks like you did it, Star Pants. Now get into the control room and hit that clamp release. I'll re-reinvert the core at the same time and get us moving again. Doors open, and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. This would go a lot faster if we all had the ability to scan. Yeah, you got any uh, priceless Lattice Hex Ornadium crystals lying around? I'll gladly build you one. <laughs> no, we ain't got any. We only have the one. What do your goggles do? That's classified.
than being a giant pain in the tail. It's a peacekeeping ship. Capable of extreme violence. That's the whole idea. A deterrent if has to move in to mediate a conflict. Sounds boring. Corral would probably agree with you. Furious when we removed their power source. Must be important to their effort. Can't wait to smash it. Whatever it is. And then get back to Cosmo for our reward. All right, this is our floor. These doors are sealed tight. Drax, hit that panel where all the wires are dead. <laughs> Step aside. Out to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. What's that? Oh, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the core back. Something's powering up again. Yay. Great. Now we're stuck in the ventilation. Great job, Quill. Dude, I know you're peeved, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? That's it? In case you hadn't noticed, there's more important things happening right now than Quill saying he's sorry. Whoa! Flark and Scott! What are these Franklin Gaboons doing to Contraxia? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know! Looks like it's siphoning something! Something to do with those cubes? No, no! I gotta get a closer look! Peter Quill, we have been in this hangar before! <laughs> Investigation lead him to believe our hope is key to galaxy mystery. What is that noise? We are compiling an extensive dog report. Ah, flark the report. Tell him his magic hand almost got us killed. Uh-oh. What is... Uh-oh, Piotr Quinn. Something just came up. We'll call you back. Your experience fighting Centurions will be necessary here, woman. Spread out! You look spooky! Ice Ice yeah. Baby! Hot it, Drax! Keep on alive! Get him to tell us about this energy! It's better to just finish them off! <laughs> Finish them! Uh, 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 it is 
too fast! You need to cool off! Peter Quill. We can use the crane to grab a battery. Uh, right. Just like I planned. Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. Just hope it does not cause an explosion. Well, let's not stick around to find out. All right. Come on. The tunnel's just past here. We got luck. The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained. By, by her, her will. will. Move. There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. Okay, group. I think I know my way around. We just need to get into the tunnels on the other side there. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no. Rocket, no! Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. How is that not the same? We were not scavenging for the same thing. The distinction could be important. Forget Raker. Our focus right now is finding Nikki. Your focus? My focus is not dying on this stupid ship. The dog wants us to find Centurion Corel. Right, so we're multitasking. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corral survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. 
But if only one is dead. We're not betting on this. Because you know you'd lose. Because it's not appropriate. How's it not appropriate? Because Peter Quill is not emotionally equipped to deal with death. Okay, A, we're all too broke to bet. B, I am super emotionally equipped. Be careful down there, Peter Quill. Yeah, definitely a lot sparkier than last time. Uh, make sure the kid ain't floating face up somewhere. Rocket! What? Exhaust all options. There might be something behind those pipes. A fascinating thought, Peter Quill. What do you say, Gamora? Now that the floor can't kill us? I say, no problem. Well, definitely no sign of Nikki or Corel. I mean, I guess that's good news. Start thinking about exit plans. And the exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Don't suppose you've seen Nikki? I'm sorry, what? You feeling okay, Peter? It's one of Nikki's robots. She gives them names and takes care of them or whatever. It does not look taken care of to me. It does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, yeah, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. I am <sighs> Of course you would. Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There better be, because there's no way I'm walking through that. What about your magical ice weapon, Peter Quill? Or perhaps you enjoy contemplating the intoxicating stench of death. There, breezy peasy. Okay, that was bad, even for you. Ah, uh, more death gas. Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. Tension is palpable. Oh, can you both please just get over this? Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Hey, I ain't the one who keeps sabotaging this team. You're the one who quit! Out of frustration with Quill's lack of pleading-like qualities. See, even now he ain't owing up to anything. In Katathian culture, silence is the ultimate form of contrition. 
Yeah, and Peter's never been quiet this long, so clearly this is his apology. Fine, whatever. Sure, this is the right way, Peter Quill. It's clearly not. I'm investigating. All yours, Gamora. Freshly sharpened. You sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nick and Quill really are. They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not. Find a dog report item. No, nothing dog report worthy. Still no signs of Nikki or Corral. In the face of death's infinite mystery, Contathians are taught to focus on what is tangible. I'll keep that in mind. Here. This is definitely the right way. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are, right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Didn't Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. Two for two. Thank you, Nikki's passkey. <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are. No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corel when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is 12, and Quill was with the child's mother 12 years ago. The math is irrefutable. Did you know? I just figured you did and didn't want to tell us. His bewildered silence suggests he did not. Yes, okay. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. It's not like they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corell and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's... Move on and keep looking. Still can't get over how good she is with all this tech stuff. Meh, I could do better. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. Guess Nikki wasn't much of a Scrawl fan. Name someone who is a Scrawl fan. <laughs> good point. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Peter Quill is her father. It is his duty to pry into her personal life. I'm thinking Nikki won't mind if we use this. What do you say, Rocket? I say I don't care even if she does mind. Done in record time! Okay, where were we? Congratulating you on being a father. Should be a way to Corel's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> Guys, could we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. I. 
am capable of feeling concern while still laughing at you, Peter Quill. Ditto. 